Hello everyone, I'm Charles. Welcome to Graphic Design Quick Start. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to rotate pattern layers in Photoshop. In our previous episode, I showed you how to take an image and render it in tile patterns. The only desire we had is to rotate our pattern. As you can see, our pattern is upright compared to this final look where I have rotated it to 45 degrees. Let me show you how this is done. Let us switch to a starting composition. Let's go to the layers panel. If you double click on a tile pattern thumbnail, you'll find there is an angle option in here. Enter negative 45 degrees. And you can see it rotates our pattern. But if you're using an old version of Photoshop, this option is not available. There is an approach to it, and that involves using a smart object. Let me show you how to do this. Let us console. If we directly convert this layer to a smart object as it is, we will lose direct access to the layer mask, and also the blending mode will be baked into it. That is not the best practice. Let me show you how to approach it. Let us put a layer mask aside, drag it to the side layer. With the circuit layer still selected, and assuming any of your selection tool is selected, press Shift Alt N. Shift Option N on a Mac. That will switch the layers blending mode to normal. Or you can manually change the blending mode on the top left corner of the layers panel. Go to the layers panel, play out menu. Convert to smart object. Let me zoom out. Go to edit. Play transform. Or players Control T, Command T on a Mac. If you try to treat the object as it is, while holding Shift, you will see that our layer is not big enough. We are having some exposed alias. If we scale it at this point, we will increase the size of the tile patterns, which we don't want. What we should do is edit the smart object directly. Double click on the smart object. Photoshop opens the smart object on a separate layer. Go to image, canvas size. Make sure the relative checkbox is unchecked. Change the units from pixel to percentage. Change the wing to 200, the height to 200. Click OK. Let us now close the smart object. Click Yes to update our working composition. Save and mark. Zoom out further. Now you can see our tile pattern is much bigger. Let's rotate our pattern. Drag at the outside of the handlebars. Hold Shift. Click the angle value up here is negative 45. Press enter to apply the rotation. Let us zoom in. Now what we need to do is reset our layer settings. Go to the layer blending modes. Switch it from normal to multiply. Let us drag back our layer mask. And there we have it. And with the help of a smart object, our dynamic tile pattern is rotated. That's it for today. Like, share and consider subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss out on our next episode.